South Africa is one of the most amazing places I've ever visited. From Table Mountain on the top to the Indian Ocean, everything is just gorgeous. But not only are there gorgeous sights and wonderful people, but there's also incredible food and wine. I want to take you on an armchair visit to South Africa through its food today. And I'm starting with the wine. This is Cap Classique. It's what they call their sparkling wine, made just in the same style as champagne. Cheers to South Africa. One of the most amazing things you can do is to visit some of South Africa's national parks. Whether you go on safari or just go in your car and check out all the animals, wow, it's incredible. This salad is inspired by a photo safari that I was on. We had lunch in the middle of the jungle practically, and this salad was part of our lunch. Now. When I think of South Africa, I think of, first of all, fruits and veggies, because the most incredible, beautiful, yummy, delicious fruits and veggies are there. So this salad is called Safari Salad, and it's just almost identical to the one I had in the bush. So we're gonna start off with one of my grape jar dressings, and I call it grape because it's easy, it's fast, and it's so good for you. I'm gonna start with a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, and I'm gonna put in some lemon juice. So there goes my lemon juice. I just have a, a regular mason jar. You can use an empty mustard jar if you'd like. I have the flavors of South Africa in cumin and coriander, ground coriander. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of sweetness with some orange juice. So there we go. And then I'm gonna put in some Dijon mustard. The Dijon mustard helps in any dressing to emulsify or to keep the different ingredients together. So I've got about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard right into my jar. Now, of course, I wanna put in some salt and pepper. I don't have to put too much because citrus juice is a great substitute for that pot of salt. And then freshly ground black pepper right into the jar as well. I'm gonna put on the lid and shake. And now I have my salad dressing for my safari salad. So safari salad has got those beautiful berries that they grow in South Africa. Three berries that they grow most of. Blackberries, raspberries, and blueberries. And we're gonna put all three of them in our salad. I've got a bed of like baby greens there and I'm gonna just put some blackberries first. Now I'm gonna put some raspberries. Okay, so there goes my raspberries. And finally, blueberries. So this um, salad is not only gonna be delicious, but it's gonna be colorful too. So there goes my blueberries. And I love putting salads on platters, y'all, because they look so pretty. Um, I'm gonna garnish with a little bit of toasted almonds. So there goes my almonds. I like to put almonds or nuts on a salad like this because it adds some crunchy texture. Goat cheese, oh my gosh. Goat cheese in South Africa is so delicious. They have made goat cheese almost all over Africa for quite a long time and the goat cheese in South Africa is really good. Now I'm gonna put in an ingredient that you're gonna think, has she lost her mind? No, because olives are part of South Africa as well as grapes for wine, because many of the winemakers on their properties where the grapes grow actually have olives as well. So I've got some black olives here and I'm using Kalmata olives. 
You can use any kind of olive you like, but the black ones were on the salad when I ate it uh, on Safari, Photo Safari. Okay, next I have two herbs. I have parsley, and then I have a little bit of fresh mint. And that fresh mint is gonna add a super, super pop of flavor. And now all I have to do is dress my salad with this beautiful citrus dressing. It is so delicious. So I've got the lemon and I've got the orange. And now, here's our safari salad, ready for dinner. And I can't wait to eat it.